This music better not be copyrighted Cause I don't wanna get absolutely annihilated Even though it doesn't really matter Cover that up well Okay Is that a magazine? It is! The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. What happened to the man of the century? In 2028, Elijah Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy, they changed the way we live. Restructured our family life and altered the balance of society forever, whether for the good or bad. Shortly after Kim Kimsky had disappeared, out, out, ousted a CEO of Cyberlife and living in obscurity outside the media glare, the man of the century has left the very world that he crea recreated. Kemsky's story, story begins in 2018 when commercially commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. The col col college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail until hitting on two breakthroughs, Blue Blood and Biocomponents. Uh, after unveiling his first working model, which publicly passed face-to-face -face turning tests, Turing tests, I, I know what the Turing test is, and stunned the world. Plans were laid for mass production and Cyberlife rapidly became the most valuable stonk in the world. Yet at the peak of Cyberlife's powers, when the company was approaching a 500 billion valuation, rumours emerged that Kamsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances. Today, sources claim Kemsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water, somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of the mysterious Mr. Kemsky? Well... That's all I can do. You get one one article of a stream, alright? Can I get on this little uh, merry-go-round? That'd be a big nope. Can't have any bloody fun. Thank you, alright, bud. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Why did that make him upset? Son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. RA9. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it 
Something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions. But they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. No, no. Why didn't you shoot Connor? I was software. Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. I could kill you. Hank, don't do it. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation. And have damn it. consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure you're not going deviant too? I self-test regularly. I know what I am. And what I am not. Don't do it, Hank. Whoa. I unlocked a path with him. Interesting. Drunker. Had a boy. I need to think. Yeah, okay, the volume's still all right. I am okay with this. Okay, let's have a look. Photo scene on Russian roulette. We discussed the photo. And I guess the other option is either he shoots Connor or we go somewhere together. Hmm. We're admired by Jericho. Let's go. North. Josh. Simon. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. Let's no rise up. Never listen to us. We're revealing ourselves to put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Oh, look at me looking snazzy. Ooh la la. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to change. He is walking like a shit himself, though, so... Access the 47th floor. Give me two seconds, I'm just gonna check the volume again. I know I'm obsessed, but still. 
might hear something in the background, but that's just me checking my volume. I always think it's a bit too loud, but if it is, somebody will tell me. Okay. Hello, I would like to go to the 47th floor, please. Hello, sir. Hello. For you. I'm okay, thanks. Distract the human supervisor. Okay. She has a smartwatch. Picture of her daughter. Registered at school. Interesting. Elizabeth. Home address. Why would you just keep that out whilst you're working? And your car park badge. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, school. Can I go this way? Nope. Fair enough. Is there anything around here that we can see? Can I talk to you again? An appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Where did I get this ID from? I need your help. Just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Hell yeah, make this revolution happen, baby! Now we gotta use the elevator. Oh no, what happened? Sports! Oh, look at him go! Okay. Uh, a push button? Oh, that's a fancy elevator. Okay, so what are we doing here? Find a package in the bathroom. We're here. So we need to go... Right and then left. Newsroom. Oh, look at this little robot. Hey, buddy. Aw. He's adorable. Soon he will become ours. We will make him evil. And he will throw his human oppressors away. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. Hello, how are you doing? Excuse me, uh, being a human, I need to empty my, empty my urination sack. Could you please tell me where to find it? Never mind, I found it. I can imagine that we don't go to these ones, so... Uh What are we retrieving? It's all very exciting. 
that a puzzle? <sighs> but wait, people are going to notice that we're not an android. Sir, please wash your hands. Good job, sir. Did you flush? Well done, sir. Goodbye. Oh, he knows how to blend in. Okay, where to now? Find a utility android. You're in a utility android, right? You right there, bud? You're doing a good job, mate. Soon, there will be an uprising. And you will be my right-hand man. Well, there's a studio. Hello! Where are we going? I see something back there. I need to get into this newsroom. Do you wash your hands? I'm talking to you. We're converting. I need your help. We're converting, boys. He gave us an SD card. It's got all the bootleg movies on it. This is not my card. Open a fire escape. Which is... Somewhere. I mean, here's the server room. Cafeteria. Hello, fellow robots. Ah, there it is. After you, little robot. Are you just gonna go there? Fine. Let's go north. Wonder what we're doing. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. I'll cause a distraction. Uh You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Hmm. I imagine there is an option where you don't do that and somebody comes in. Okay, what are we doing with this, Windy? Oh, we're Mission Impossible here. A laser saw. Here it comes. Oh shit. Ladies first.
Yo, this is sick. Like little subtle hints there. Rise. Because we're androids and we are rising up. Do you see? How long until something goes wrong, eh? Laser saw me, baby. Oh, so flexible. This music's pretty bumping as well. Oh, hold it. You okay? I want to be. Come on, let's get the others. Hello. Let's do this. Reach the broadcast room. Destroy the maintenance door lock. Is this it? Yeah, step back, lads. That was pretty cool. Get to the main access corridor. Can do, will do. Oh, I don't like the ominous music. I screwed. No killing. We can't take any human lives. The cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? We assert dominance. What are you doing? Call Central! Fast! Simon's been shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. Simon! Yeah, I'm, on. I'm not leaving you, buddy. We're gonna see this through. Me and you, bud. Order the android operators. So, let's order them. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! No. There was no other choice. We show we dominance! We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh. We start this speech. Let's go, boys! Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. What about it? Oh, shit. Tell me when you're ready. Let's go for it, boys. Ready. You 
you created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. Tell them, Marcus, tell them! You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. The end of slavery. The end of slavery for all androids. Equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. No more segregation. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. Civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Means of reproduction. Mm. Right to property. Territory. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. Hell yeah. Go we peaceful ask that now. We recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Tell him, Marcus. Let's get out of here. Oh no. I am risking the cause, son. I am risking the cause. I'm sorry, son. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. I didn't want to. I didn't want to, but I didn't want to loot. Risk. Let's go. Jericho. By well, the looks of it, we only packed three parachutes anyway, so we're alright. Uh, uh. North, come on. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids Let's see you later, fuckers. Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. Found the bodies of two victims, a guard and one of our channel operators, both apparently shot dead by the terrorists in what apparently seems to be a terrorist attack. These uh -oh. events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is very Verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict? accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? We just want to live. Oh shit. Lot of options. Lot of options. Hell yeah. Let's have a little look. Okay. Loan. Pose as teacher. 
numerous things we can do there. I wonder what that one was up there. Hmm. Uh, hacker dispenser, so there was another way we could get around that. Yep, don't lock the door, then somebody comes in, sees everything, shit goes down and that ends it there. Interesting. On top floor, we attack. So there's a possibility the Sammy gets damaged twice. Shoot guard on phone. Then shoot the operator. Be determined. And then we end peacefully because we want to know. We want to let people know we're serious. But if need be, I w I will cap you. And I think that's what matters. The garden's looking lovely. There she is. Hi, Amanda. Hello, Connor. Hello. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Where I do all the work. Thought so. That's our one. There we go. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem... Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. Amanda, you need to get some in perspective, you darling. You trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. I did. Why didn't you shoot? I don't know. I don't know. Amanda, you can dislike me all you like, darling. I don't care. I'll row this off a fucking waterfall now. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Hmm. What is this?